Hold on! 27 geode crates, 15 pickaxes, 5 wheelbarrows, 42 fresh tourniquets. Okay, yeah, there's a lot to do, so I don't have much time. What is it? Carps, eh? Well, call me not surprised. He never was any good at this. All this came off like he was better than us working folk. But the only thing he was good at was slacking. All right, I'll pay you for his samples. Yeah, so what? He was going to die sooner or later. <laughs> Judging by this bag, it looks like he died for nothing. Figures. Now I got to find a miner who actually knows how to prospect. Well, I said I'd pay. Block off, pal. No time for useless chatter. Oh, <laughs> Did you have any trouble setting up the traps? Great work! You're a natural. Have you ever considered making this your life's work? It's really quite rewarding, and you certainly have the aptitude for it. Anyway, I'm sure Elle will be relieved to hear that they're all set up now. Elle Bitterblade, the head of Dusktown. She hired us, though she's been understanding. Oh, thank you so much. Claudina and I are good with the spirit side of things, but we struggle with people. If you talk to Elle and assure her that we're doing everything we can, she'd probably feel better. She should be right outside the mines. Well, remember what I said earlier about the traps? We had an incident with the mine foreman. But he wasn't in any danger. We freed his leg easily and got all the paint off. We fixed the traps, but nonetheless, the mines are off limits to us now. Claudina, say more about your process. I want to capture everything in my notes.
Another day, another failure. It must be somewhere. If you come to rob me, you will leave disappointed. All this land and only weeds to show for it. Do you ever... Uh, a lifetime of failure. For 30 years, I have hunted my brother's killer. Tracked it all across Skyrim, seeking justice. Somehow it always managed to vanish. Uh, tell me, have you heard any stories of a monster called the Pale Man? Something that stalks the moonlit snows. It steals loved ones away without a sound. A couple folks sent letters saying they had new sightings. These old legs are much too ruined for travel now. Would you be willing to hear them out for some gold? Find Evia in Morthor and Hautgert in Dragonbridge. Tell them Erolf sent you. Ask them where they saw the Pale Man and who it stole. Thanks for hearing out an old man. Most just think I have lost my mind. But I know the truth. Ah, caught your interest, did it? Maybe you're the person I need after all. Maybe Kang decided to send me a blessing instead of a curse. For once in my damned life. All you need to know about the Pale Man is that it takes people. It took my brother. Drendek, yes. My older brother. Strong and hearty. A Nord's Nord. I thought there was no one in the world stronger than Drendek. Of course I was only six at the time. Then the Pale Man snatched Drendek up like a babe. Some say that. Most claim it doesn't exist at all. My father claimed that. And my mother. And the sword thane of Morthor. They all said a bear took Drendek. They said a little traumatized boy imagined the Pale Man. Made up stories. He's not a story. Stupid thing. I should have never come out here alone. Oh, hello. Please don't laugh. I'm having a terrible time, and this cart isn't even the half of it. Though you look rather experienced. Maybe it's fortuitous that you came along. You might be just the right person to help me. You've heard about dragon mounds, right? They're ancient dragon burial sites. Centuries old. The Dragon War, the Dragon Cult... I'm over-explaining. The job is simple. I just need some charcoal rubbings from those mounds. Uh, 
I intended to. I hired this cart and everything. But as you can see, that didn't work out. Maybe I was foolish to try and do this on my own. I don't have a lot of field experience. Almost none. But you! You could handle this, right? I'll pay you. Thank you for helping. It's a big relief. I need rubbings from two dragon mounds. One south of here, and another off to the east. I'm particularly interested in any symbols that look like dragons, but anything you find will help. Finally! Waiting in a tavern without a drink is maddening! How do other people do it? And Mog hasn't been helpful. His solution to every problem involves a great amount of alcohol. What news of the bastard who murdered my mother? Did you find him? I would have preferred to see him dragged back here for a proper trial and execution. But at least justice has been served. Were you able to determine who was behind the murder? Was it connected to the threat you came to warn my father about? <laughs> Damn those reach witches! 
And damn my father for being so... so obstinate! But what does the coven want? Are they planning to kill my father? What else can you tell me about this threat to our kingdom? That's horrible. But there must be more to this than simply turning my people into monsters. Well, I'll do what I can to help you. Mother would have wanted me to. What you've done and discovered will be enough to convince my father. It has to be. You and Lyris risked your lives for my kingdom and have been met with nothing but suspicion. You counted on my mother to be your advocate, to convince my father of the Coven's threat. Now she's gone. I'm no substitute, but I'll speak for you. My father hasn't heard a word I've said since I was old enough to talk. But with mother gone, someone has to make him see reason. You know, she tried to teach me, but I never listened. I guess maybe I'm more like my father than I care to admit. That makes it even more imperative that he heeds your warning and takes action. All of the holds are in danger. Hoffingar, Hjalmarch, Karthald. My father needs to do something before another storm strikes. Meet me at the Blue Palace, all right? I... Uh, I just need a moment to think about how to approach this. Consider the words to use. My courtly manners are a bit rusty, and I've never been much for diplomacy and fancy speeches. Shore's bones, I could use a drink. I'm not sure of anything. If I don't do this, though, I'll never forgive myself if something terrible befalls the kingdom. Right. Easy as honey-baked pie. It's not like you came here at the behest of his most hated rival or anything. Look, I'll do my best to get him to listen. You have my word on that. It feels like I've been shattered into a thousand pieces and swept under a rug. But I don't have time to mourn right now, not with the kingdom in danger. Now, let's go talk to my father before I change my mind. Wish me luck, Mog. <laughs> Good luck. What? Another day. I have a unique yeah, opportunity for no fear to be a reach. Assassins tried to kill the High King. They murdered Queen Gerhild. Our poor king must be dead. What is it? You would have me spread my forces across the realm to search for nightmares you dredged up from a bottle? It's not! Or should I say, the whispers of eastern vipers tickling your ears? But mother! Enough! Then next you come before me to vomit up your counsel. Make sure it doesn't stink of treason. Damn the man! 
He wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Mother always knew how to talk to him. Me, not so much. Mother had a way with father, but she could be just as stubborn. If she wanted something done and he wouldn't oblige, she'd do it herself. Time to take her lessons to heart, I guess. If my father won't take a stand, then I suppose it's up to me. Our kingdom consists of three holds. Hafingar, Hjalmarch, and Karthalt. I need to warn them. The Jarls might listen, even if my father won't. I'm the daughter of the High King, after all. Time to start acting like one. Will you come with me? We should visit Jarl Redharn of Hjalmarch first. If we can convince him of the threat, at least his hold can take steps to protect itself. We'll find him in his hall in Morthal. I'll leave word for Lyris with Mog so she'll know where to find us. Honestly, I don't know. But Jarl Redharn tempers his warrior nature with a kind that's not often seen in people of his stature. Besides, he's always had a soft spot for me ever since his daughter and I played together at moots and other gatherings. I remember a time when we were all happy together. Him and Mother and I. Seems like a long time ago. At some point, he became more and more involved with the trappings of power. He was more interested in being the High King than my father. I tried, but interaction with my father made it difficult. She wanted us to be a family. But the High King wanted a queen and a princess. Eventually, he stopped ordering me to attend royal functions. It was my one victory in our relationship. What is it?
Lucky Mog passed along your message. I would have hated to miss all this mud. Why does the Princess of Solitude grace my humble hall with her royal presence? Are you here on behalf of the High King? I've come to warn you, Jarl Redhorn. Warn me? I already received orders from your father. What more is there to say? Orders? Uh, right. But you need to prepare the hall's defenses. And what must we defend ourselves against this time? More urns and fetishes? Please, Jarl Redhorn, let my friend explain. The threat to our holds is worse than you can imagine. Hmm. You're not the subject of this realm, and that woman with you. She's the giantess of the East. The High King warned us to beware of packed spies. If Princess Svana trusts you, however, you have my ear. Tell me about this threat. We're not Daedra worshippers. Our blood's hot enough to boil a blizzard. We've got more pressing concerns than some northern squall. We received Svargrim's orders, promptly ignored them, and immediately ran afoul of a gaggle of Reachmen. The High King sent a royal decree, said to leave any strange objects or fetishes we spotted around the hold alone. They were dangerous, he said. Just so happens we found a few. I had my soldiers destroy them. That's when we encountered the Reachmen. The barbarians reacted poorly when we destroyed the strange witch sticks. We beat them back and chased them into the nearby barrow. But that was the last I heard from my soldiers. Since you dealt with this before, would you investigate the barrow? If I were a few years younger, and had more soldiers to spare, I'd march east to the Morthal Barrow and deal with the sorceress nonsense myself! But I'm not, I don't, and I have other responsibilities. Take this key. It will get you into the Barrow. They were tall, ugly things, covered in strange runes, fetishes, and a poultice that smelled like rotting fungus. They had been set up around the town, my soldiers assumed they'd find one at the barrel, but instead they sent word of the Reachmen. Really? Last I heard, the princess was more interested in... No, I won't indulge in idle gossip. Svana carries herself well. Not with the grace of her mother, but she has the swagger of a warrior. I wish I could say the same about my daughter. Had. She was taken from us five years ago. If I had pushed her harder, she might have had the strength to survive. Daughters are a father's greatest weakness. Enough troubles of the past. We have the present to concern ourselves with. 